the Singer Heavy Duty 4452 sewing machine is one of the models that has a built-in needle threader. So this little arm kind of stores kind of up close to the little light here. We'll be bringing it all the way down and twisting its arm. And at the end of this arm here is actually a very small little hook that's gonna come through the eye of the needle from the backside, get a hold of the thread, and then pull it through. So let's kind of take a few steps to see how this works. Uh, one thing you gotta keep in mind, you have to be gentle with this. So as you bring it down, just think, if you had to be small enough as a little piece of metal to actually fit through an eye of the needle, number one, um, you, you have to be fairly lined up. So make sure your needle is at the highest position. Turn your hand well if it's not. Next, if you wanna lower your presser foot down just a little bit, it might give you a little more room with your hands to maneuver the needle threader. So I usually bring it down about halfway because at halfway, I'm gonna put, put the thread underneath this first little guide. You can see that it's gonna hook it around. Next, bring your needle threader all the way down and twist this around the needle. Just leave it hanging out there. Take your thread, cross it in front of the needle with a little pressure here. And then you're gonna bring the thread up to the arms that are kind of wrapped around the needle. Now remember that little hook? So look at where my thread is. It's actually just parallel to the needle threader. I'm holding it gently in the up position. So many people wanna go back. I don't know why, but please don't. Um, just lift it up. And, but we also need to let go of this hand once we start to swivel the needle threader away from the needle. Now, the more you let go, the longer the loop you will have to pull through. Now, if you don't ever let go of your right hand, that needle threader cannot pull the thread through the hole. So we're gonna do it again. You're gonna see me bring it down halfway, swoop it underneath, come all the way down next, bring that around the needle, Bring the thread up to those little arms, gently hold up, and let go as it can pull the loop through. Now after this, just lift up your presser foot if you had lowered it, slide the thread down underneath the presser foot, and then you are ready to sew. If your needle threader is not working, it may have gotten bent. It is very delicate. So you sometimes can find, uh, if you can see it, bend the, it back to be centered inside that needle threader little arm area. If it has broken off, you can get a replacement at your local soy machine store. They will be able to help you with that. But once it's bent, I will tell you, it's not going to work because it's not lining up with the hole. So see if you can see if it's actually coming through the hole. If it is, then it's just a matter of placing that thread in the correct position and the needle threader will work 100% of the time. So take your time to learn how to use this and trust me, once you get used to using it, it becomes second nature and you wonder what you did without it for so many years.